I don't know if this is going to work or not, but here's hoping. This is a round of Arbutus, and it has a split in it that I'm hoping will allow me to just split it the rest of the way. Oh, that didn't work so well. So, we'll go with method number two. Should probably have gone with the axe first, but I have a pretty good understanding of my aim. So I figure if I can cut that piece in half, that should leave me enough to do one of these mashers. It fits in a berry sieve and it mashes the berries. So all it takes to get a, a log apart is an axe, a cold chisel, a crowbar, and a five pound mallet. I'm sure there are 999 better ways of doing this, but this was way number 1000. So one of those will become one of those. Welcome to the tiny trailer workshop. This is that same piece I was just cutting, and I haven't ever, I haven't worked on Arbutus this big before. Um, I actually had to borrow a chainsaw and get this cut down to, to size so I could actually get it on here without tearing the trailer apart. But I see that uh, anything I worked on before was, was quite a bit younger and it was really, really white. Well, here we are, dark. Anyhow, let's uh, get some checking hat in there. Uh, we are going to make that. And so hopefully that will all get cut off. Shouldn't be a problem. All right, let's see what this does here. Yep. You can tell that even though I have this cut down to size, it still manages to get the trailer rocking pretty good. This is really hard wood and it puts up a fair resistance here. I'll just turn a tenon on each end here. I don't know if I need the second one or not, but it'll be there if I do. So now I can put that in a truck. And I'll feel a little better about that. So I'm gonna do that. Once you have this to round, you start seeing different types of shavings. A very tight spiral.
I know I have way too many times in the past measured and still made the item too small. Well, I don't want to do that here, so I'll measure even more. I wonder if that means I'll make it way too small. I just thought to knock some of this piece of the end out of the way. I certainly wasn't expecting it to break there. We'll just pound that back into place, retighten the chuck, and carry on. I see something I'm going to have to do when I do another project like this is put my lines on the tool rest. That way I won't turn them off next pass. Remind me. Okay? Well, I've managed to get this end parted off, but I still have a nub here, so I'll hold it in place as well as I can and just sand that smooth. I'll hold on to it the same way while I part off this end. sanding it would be good to go. Well they aren't exactly the same, but they're pretty darn close. Thanks for watching.